Welcome learners, I am Dipankar Vasamadari, teaching English in the Jeradur School, Surat. Welcome again. Uh, in this video today, we will discuss uh, the words have and has and the mistakes that we make in using them. In a different video, I have talked about how to use have with an ing and when not to add ing. In this video today, we will discuss when and how these verbs are used. So let's get our hands dirty. These verbs offer problems because they are too erratic or unruly. Have is both a singular verb and also a plural verb. We use have with I, which is singular, and also with we and they, which are plural. So it's very difficult to categorize. But has is easier to categorize because we can use it with only with the third person singular in the present tense. And then another mistake people make is adding ing to the verb have. So instead of saying I have a pen, many say I'm having a pen. And then they do not know with which uh, person or number to use have and has many make the mistake of saying she have because have is considered singular since she is singular they say she have which is wrong so after this video we'll be able to use these erratic unruly words correctly so these are the things we should remember when we use them we use these verbs in the present indefinite tense in the present perfect tense and in the present perfect continuous tense in the present indefinite tense, we use have and has to mean that we possess something, that we own something. In the present perfect tense, for actions that have been done just a while ago. In the present indefinite tense, has is have and has are used as the main verb. I have, he has. But in the present perfect tense, have and has are used as an auxiliary verb, as helping verbs. Again, in the present perfect continuous tense, we use these verbs as helping verbs. And we use this tense to talk about actions that started in the past and are still going on. And uh, this issue I have already talked about, have is both singular and plural. And have is used with the first person singular and plural, the second person singular and plural, the third person plural. This is a repetition of the previous slide. I have included a few examples here. I have a pen, have as the main verb, first per and it's been used with the first person singular I. We have been to China, present perfect tense. Have has been used as a helping verb. This also, in this sentence, you have called him about four times. Have has been used as a helping verb, and this is in the present perfect tense. And the subject is second person singular you or plural. We cannot figure out because you is the same for both singular and plural. They have again a helping verb here. This is the helping verb and vacated is the main verb. But the boys have scored better. Scored is the main verb and have is the helping verb. Similarly, the children have started playing. Started is the main verb and have is the helping verb. So third person plural, third person plural, third person plural subject. Second person singular plural and first person plural subject and first person singular subject. Now let's take a look at how we can use has. So this again is also always used in a simple present tense, just like have. So have is also you always used in a simple present tense, present perfect tense, and the present perfect continuous tense. Similarly, has also is used in a simple present tense, the present perfect tense, and the present perfect continuous tense. And remember this always. With the third person singular noun or pronoun singular subject. They are he, she, it, the man, the boy, the man, a man, a boy, a dog, an orange, any anything that is singular. Like this. A spider has eight legs. Here, this sentence is in the present indefinite tense, and we you, we are using has as as a verb to mean that they own something, that they possess something. Here we are using has as the main verb. Similarly, the Rastrapati Bhavan in India has present indefinite to mean position. Again, the third example also means a position. But here in the fourth example, has has been used as an auxiliary verb or a helping verb. And the main verb is forget, which has become forgotten. The third form of the verb forget. The Siberian tiger has become. Has helping, main verb become. Become is the third form of the verb become, become basic form, second form became, and the third form become, the past participle form. It hasn't rained, again present perfect tense, has auxiliary, rained, main. 
she hasn't been as helping her main main verb has been lying this is in the present perfect continuous tense has helping verb this also a helping verb and lying the main verb so let's take a look at what we have learned today we need to use have in the first person singular and plural i and we second person singular and plural you and third person plural they and all other plural nouns and pronouns we need to use has only in the third person singular he she it and all the other singular nouns and pronouns like someone everyone each either and these are the tenses in which we can use have and has the present indefinite tense the present perfect tense and the present perfect continuous tense